Here's a really typical exam question. Uh, let's do a quick analysis and see how we go about solving this one. This type of problem will need two steps. Analysis goes something like this. First one, we've got to locate where this mystery angle is. When a cosine inverse is minus 1 over 5, that's equivalent to saying cosine of some mystery number is equal to minus over 5. Now, cosine curve looks something like this. Now, the inverse cosine zone is defined between 0 and uh, 180 degrees. This is crucial because you need to know where this inverse, sign, uh, inverse cosine is defined. Cosine inverse is defined between 0 and pi because it's minus 1 over 5. For our case, uh, here's minus 1 is corresponding to pi. Minus 1 over 5 is 0.2, so minus 0.2. It's uh, bigger than 90 degrees but smaller than 180, which means we are looking at in quadrant number 2. Okay, so here's our mystery angle theta. Is this going to be in quadrant 2? Having found uh, where quadrant number 2 is, the rest is pretty easy. So let's go on to the step number 2. Step 2 says, look, if I know the angle is in quadrant 2 and cosine of this angle is uh, minus 1 over 5, all I need to do is find out what the sine of this one is. And in this quadrant, sine is positive. So let's write up the solution. Obviously, the answer is going to be uh, 5 is our hypotenuse. We need to find out what the corresponding opposite leg is, which is 5 squared minus 1 squared is radical 24. Simplify a little, and here's our final answer. So let's write everything up. All right, so here's the solution. All right, so here's the solution. If we like the theta equal to cosine inverse, that's just a, another way to say cosine of theta equal to minus 1 over 5. Using where inverse cosine is defined between 0 and pi, we know theta is in quadrant 2. So the second step, once we figure out quadrant 2 is over here, and here's our angle, then this uh, hypotenuse is 5, and uh, adjacent here is minus 1. Finding the opposite side is radical 26. Substituting in there, sine of this quadrant 2 of this angle is positive number. Uh, 26 radical over 5 simplifies to radical 6 over 5. So here's the final answer. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment or share this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.